hello everyone and welcome to my channel welcome to the sabbath prep friday where usually i surrender something so today what i'm going to be surrendering is calling myself old i've had enough of that okay so stay with me so you can find out like what are my options okay and we'll talk about that i love you Stay along with me. Okay, and so while you're waiting, why don't you ask somebody to come, invite somebody, share the video so before we get into this. So, okay, so my name is Sheila Rollins, and I am the founder of Shula Ministries Entertainment and Associates, Inc. And in this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power. And also... What he's accomplished for us on a cross. Therefore, our cleanliness, our wholeness, our completeness, those things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Jesus Christ. However, in order for us to get everything he offers us, we need to be obedient to his word. And I encourage King James because it's what he encouraged me. The Ten Commandments, including the Fourth Commandment, where he asks us to remember the seventh day Sabbath. Okay. These things are binding on us for eternal life. Check the arrow, which is next to the title. I have all that information in there regarding what's required for eternal life and also information about the seventh day Sabbath. So, okay. And while you add it, if you'd like to make a comment, you can do so. Just scroll underneath of the title and you'll see an area that says comment. You can comment there, but now remember, you have to be nice, okay, and be respectful, all right, or else I won't respond. So, you want me to respond, so be nice to me. So, okay, the other thing that you can do is leave a topic if you like to, or just say hi, okay, just say hi. So, all right, so, okay, so if you haven't tried my other YouTube, which is The Pursuit of Christ, okay, and the playlist on both, you're missing out. You need to check those things out stat so okay so what i realize is that when i tell myself i can't do something i don't so as i sit around and i say positive things i notice that my body's responding to that favorably however when i keep saying i'm old and my strength is leaving. I don't have as much strength in my fingers. Or um, sometimes I feel stiff. Or I'm having trouble getting up off of the couch. Whatever. When I say those things, my body responds as well. Okay? So, I have some encouragement. Okay? So, the encouragement that I have really is... I've experienced a lot of people older than me. That's very, very encouraging. Um, doing some things that is abnormal in our society for that age group. These people are between like 70 and maybe 85, maybe. Okay. And I'm talking roller skating, running, um, exercising. Um, it's, it's no, no limit to what they're doing. Okay. And I'm saying, Satan would have me to put my tennis rack up, but I think that one of the last times that I put, that I use my tennis rack. Okay. I mean, like more actively anyway, I've used it since this time, but more actively, more regularly is with my 16 year old daughter challenge me to a tennis match and let me tell you something honey sister was scared because I hadn't played for a long time while I was walking I wasn't doing no other kind of exercises or anything she's 16 and and not only that she was a tennis um uh, counselor okay um and so you know she was helping kids learn how to do tennis you know she had moved up so she thought that she was gonna punk her mama and mama was scared, I had to tell you. But I prayed to God. I prayed. 
And as a result, the day came and she was bragging. She telling me all that she's going to do to me. So we get out on the tennis court. And I prayed. I stayed humble and I prayed. And she's bragging about how she's going to beat me. Before I get into the rest of the story, okay, please remember to subscribe. It's totally free, okay? Well, it does cost you time, you know, uh, to watch the videos, but it doesn't cost any money, okay? So we love to have you. See that? See the word subscribe? Touch it. A bell will come up. When it does, touch the bell. And then you see the word all. Hit all. And every time I do a new upload, you'll receive a notification. So remember to do that. Okay, so basically we on a tennis court and I'm like, <clears throat> need I to say that I tore 16 year old sister up, seriously. And so the next day, I mean, you know, I was all grateful for what God allowed me to do. You know what I mean? Um, the next day, you know, I'm ready to play again. It was fun. I was ready to play again. So I go to look for my 16-year-old, who today is 36. She's in a bathtub soaking. And so I'm feeling my body. I'm like, no, wait a minute. Wait, uh, 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 I'm feeling my legs. I'm like, I don't feel sore or anything. That girl was sore. She soaked in the bathtub for days. I never soaked. That's what I'm talking about. I want to take back up my, my roller skating because I am a roller skater. I can backwards skate and everything. I want to get back into my roller skating. I want to play tennis more and do all the things that I enjoy doing as a younger person. You know, and I'm saying my body's feeling great. I've been lifting weights. I even have definition. I, I can't show you with this blouse on. But I have I have definition. I got a little muscle now. I've been lifting my weights. I got a little muscle now. I got definition in my arms. You probably can't see it, but there's a, a foop. And then, you know, that part right there. This was all straight. This was all flab. Right here, this was all flab. Now, now, look. Now, I haven't even gotten really consistent yet the way I would like to. You know, I'm still being a baby, complaining, saying, oh, I don't even want to get up. I don't even want to get out of bed if I got to exercise. Yes, you got to exercise. Join me on Monday because Monday, I believe that I'm going to be talking about some benefits to exercise. And if you're struggling with it like I am, okay, don't give up. Don't give up. So, so what you think my options are, comment down below. If I say that I want to surrender calling myself old, because that means a whole lot of things. A lot of times old people get sick, you know, a lot of times old people, um, they feeble, you know, they can't move as fast and all. No, I want to get back into running. Okay. Um, I remember one time I was running, I ran a block, walk a block, run a block, walk a block. I, I kind of like mapped out seven blocks back and forth. When I did it four times, it's like a mile. And so I did it every day for a week. And in that week, I lost seven pounds, okay? So I'm saying there's just so many benefits in like calling myself young. So that's what I want to surrender to. I want to surrender calling myself old to calling myself young, okay? Because some people say, you know, when they look at me, when they say, girl, you're just a baby. I'm 63 years old, okay? I wish you would try to tell some of those young guys that, okay? Because I'm saying, listen, I don't do that. Not that young. Maybe a couple of years, but not that young. But anyway, God is good. And so basically, you know, pray for me that in my endeavor to be young, um, now I'm not foolish now. Now I'm not foolish to the point to where, you know, I don't try to protect myself and all that. And what I mean by that is like on a motorcycle with no helmet and stuff like that. No, I'll wear my helmet, you know, or um, roller skating and stuff and not like, you know, like not being careful. You know what I'm saying? So I want to protect myself or whatever, but I want to continue to enjoy life. Bowling, skating, tennis, 
whatever it is, running, you know, I want to do those things. So pray with me, hold me up in prayer, and I'll do the same for you. Now to him that is able to keep us from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.